alive. <laughs> yeah, I seem to recall more. You guys took a beating. You healed up a decent bit, but then you still got to deal with, if I recall, the yep, hysterically laughing uh, large creature. And then one half dragon. So, with that being said, oh, and you were uh, currently in the process of debating whether to uh, bargain with this voice in your head to see if you could uh, perhaps negotiate your way out of here. Maybe at the loss of some personal treasures, but you could live another day. Um, with that, it is William's turn. Uh, he's currently got his little buddy there for strain, so he is going to hide. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. As he crawls under all the tables. And he's going to hold uh, his back. Wolfgar. I'm gonna stealth for you. Uh huh. All right. Allie, I believe, pulled herself out of the floor. Yeah. Uh, looks over to you, Death. What do we do? You know, I always would like to run, but um, ask Gronk what he'd like to do. Come, come! Where is Gronk? He's outside. Yeah. Uh, Ali, not really sure, is just gonna kind of like post up here by the door, not really knowing what's going on. We'll also hold uh, a force bolt. Come, come. You do recall last you did see too. Uh, I don't remember if it was Arya or Gronkum. It could have even been Theris. Uh, you did see that coming from the south was more legions of these half dragon troops and other creatures. Should have let Brown come break the bridge. Can you need it, Grumpkin? Let me see you move. No, here, talk. He's talking in chat. Oh, is he? Ah. I just wasn't looking in there. My fault. Uh, there are more enemies to the south. So that bridge you were originally trying to break? <laughs> that one! And I think he knows there's enemies to the north, right? Or no? I know we have our little illusion with the little peephole in it. This one laughing oh. very loudly, so I just think yes. You do hear laughing. Very non... You guys laughing, coming out from past uh, that wall that you... have Actually, yeah, you've been through it before. You already know where it is. <laughs> Do you peek through the peephole before you go through? We shall see. Uh, 
Okay. So you're holding an attack action? Or are you going to, like, physically hold them if they come and try to push through? And they have to basically knock you or push you anyways, but up to you. Hey, uh, just putting it out there, now would be a really great time to start bargaining for our lives with the uh, strange force in our head. Just saying. I... Oh, what am I gonna do? I want to go... Where's the door? Here? Did you hit anything, Grandpa? He's got time to be hit by something. <laughs> What's that, Jason? I'm gonna try and hide up here. <laughs> I am hiding, and, <laughs> and uh, I will use, uh, I guess I'll ready an action to take a shot if anything comes too close. Are you more focused towards the northern side where the illusion is, or the south where the new legion of troops is coming from? But to the south, Gronkum has the north under control. Okay. I mean, within range, you'd see, you probably see about 30 different individuals within range. You know what? Maybe I don't want to shoot at them. Maybe I don't want to do that. That's a lot of people. Yeah. Um, we should probably get my... It's a great idea. What else can I ready that is an attack? I'm, no, okay, I'm gonna ready a puppet. Uh, okay. if anybody comes within five feet of me, I'll make them turn around. <laughs> Fair hey, enough. Even Gronkum? <laughs> Especially Gronkum. Okay. Do keep in mind, there are two other doors in that room. One's kind of blocked, but the other one, I mean, 50-50, you have to know. Dragons are kobolds. I don't want to go alone anywhere. <laughs> All right, Paris. Let's see if this spell can be up cast or not. Just a second. I know. Nope. So I'm sending my last third level slot or of vitality. And healing myself first off. And how many people are coming from the south? Um, from what you guys can see, it looks like a little, um, a little bit of somewhere like 20 to 30, from what you can see. Looks like they're coming, uh, after hearing the horn. Is the, uh, door by alley, is that open or closed? Uh, it's currently closed. You've opened it before, though. It basically, when they went in there, it was uh, more or less a little kobold worn, and they didn't want to wake anything up. Okay. okay. Uh, with my bonus action, I'm moving my spiritual weapon. So 5, 10, 15, 20 to there. Uh -huh. And then I'm going to move 5, 10, 20, 25, 30 to right there. Okay. He did look last time. I'm gonna go grab some coffee, be right back. Okay. As he goes to pass through, obviously finds a ground come in the way. <coughs> <coughs> I 
Were you hitting him, Grunkum? Yes. Hit away. <coughs> oh, bless. Alright, you catch him off guard. Uh, he will have a return back. Let's see. He's first going to go ahead and try to shield bash you. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hi. What? You watch as he goes to swing to hit you with the shield, Gronkum, and it gets stuck, like, in the wall of the building, and he can't get it out. He's like, Ugh. He goes, uh, swaps over to pull out his, or he goes to the spear and just tries to stab you with the spear. That misses as well, and I think that's all. Yep. That's it, and he just kind of looks at you kind of concerned. Alright, um... So, did this car actually tell us how to get to him? I will assume that will be arranged when we have provided sufficient uh, incentive. He already said that he wanted an audience with us. Might as well try. You just hear Allie. I'm not giving him any of my stuff. Thumbfair. I have an idea, and the exchange is likely to pique his interest. Uh, what are you thinking? Well, we're being broadcasted. Yeah. yeah. Think from a business perspective. Mm -hmm. I don't entirely follow. More people I are think come dragons out. want, like, cool wizard hat and uh like really comfortable saw i don't know what dragons want well he's demanding tribute so i assume gold yeah probably so an offer that will get him gold coming in You you could try. I don't know if that's gonna work, but you could try. Do you have a better idea? I already offered some stuff to him. He seems interested. Our other option is that we go and look for the portal on our own. That's not going great so far. Pop off the uh, railing and squeeze in past Deft here. Mm -hmm. Do you know where on the map it is? I have to pull up the map to check, and it's not my turn. Okay. Alright. He can't do anything. He will make his save, though. I have a bad feeling for him. Yep. That's a big fail. On the DC-17. He just keeps laughing and laughing. Baby Phoenix. I believe is currently on our shoulder. Okay. 
Max. What's Max doing? I have no idea. But I'm tired of the capacity to play him, so he does maxi things. <laughs> he sits and looks about the room. Goes to check the other room. Uh, if you guys want to go out east? That is uh, Other choices are fighting two monsters, one who's currently incapacitated, or fighting 30 monsters. Yeah, east sounds good. But is two monsters really that bad? No. When they're that large? Maybe a little bit. Hasn't been able to hit me. You're just too powerful. You cannot be stopped. Alright. He will just go then. Just Technically, in your square, I'm just trying to get this token out. So if you'll, you probably reach him from there. Um, and he's got nothing left, does he? That's it. That's it. My turn so soon. You're making me make decisions. Okay, I'm gonna make a decision. I'm gonna go out. Uh, I'm gonna go out this door. Oh, uh, okay, that's 30 feet, and then here, I'll take my bonus with another 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. What do I see from there? Uh, as you walk in, roll a perception check. It looks like a bunch of little, uh, burrows. So it looks like inside of them are probably like little cobalt dwellings. Okay. But I see the staircase up. Or is that down? Yeah, you see the other stairs. Okay. I'm gonna go check this out. Bye. Good. Uh, I guess I could do another 30. <laughs> yeah, As I'll you do start another. walking through, you hear like a little yawn. <laughs> and it kind of like rouses at your, uh, your passing. Um, I still look like a really fancy dragonborn. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to keep walking. <laughs> okay. Um, 5, 10, 15. <laughs> All right. Twenty feet. Take a peek uh, both ways, yeah. or across the street. All right. So you see where the uh, creature kind of broke its way through over here to the west. Where that boulder is. Yeah. 
and then up here you see more barrels and the same type of equipment you saw previously uh okay all right does it look like the path continues through this room to uh to the to the right uh, from here it looks like actually you probably see it it at least goes like over to here so there are further ways okay all right i uh i think i'll stay right here i was a pretty good uh, reconnaissance. My job here is done. I, I would like to stay alive. That's my thing. Welcome. Gives him a hug. I'm back, sorry. Welcome back. Welcome. Sorry. No worries. Gronkum gonna do Gronkum. Oh, the punching. Alright, Max, seeing you has no spells. A little bit of enhanced life. You can go ahead and hit you twice. All right. He's going to take a step back, Grumpkin. Right, he's going to take a swing. Would you like to punch? Uh, who's the uh, dragon attacking? He's taking steps back. So he's leaving your combat range if you want to take a swing. Gonna go ahead and do fire breath. You both succeed, taking three points and five, uh, seven points of fire damage. He will then close back in.
Tipo, é. Vamos ficar como lá. Ricardo, se for ser me hit, eu vou ser fire. Vou You can't see him though, buddy. Why not? He was able to get through a door. No, he blew fire through a door. He was at the door in combat. Oh, although, let's see. Well, how was he able to stab someone right there? And he does have sharpshooter, so that doesn't really affect cover, does it? It's not so much the right. cover, it's the line of sight. But, with the fact that you have sharpshooter, the fact that you did see his hands come back through, I'd say you could probably make a rough estimate. Wolfgang we'll could see him through the people from 30 feet away. <laughs> you, you, you didn't know my secret power was looking through peepholes. <laughs> At long range. So we have a peeping wolf guard on our team. Yep, that'll hit. Nice. So, Grunkin, you like punched it a couple of times, Max hit with the sword a couple times, and then all of a sudden you just watch like right through the illusion, you just hear and it just falls over dead. Welcome turns and glares. Still another kill. I use stealth? Your stealth isn't high enough to hide from your shame. Nobody else has arrows in that room either. Except you rolled a natural one. <laughs> Wait, I did? <laughs> Where? Yep, here. <laughs> Told you. Oops. Gee, like, there's definitely pretty much my roles throughout this whole game. Yeah, you are double proficient at this, too. Yeah. Alright, we'll fly over. Right, landing here. Gronkham, Max, come on, going this way. Six. Next, we'll make a dash, not seeing deft. Deft? Over here! Uh, is it easy to get over these barrels? Um, are you flying or are you walking? Well, she would have been walking through the passageway there, so if... You'd have to, like, walk over them, and you don't know if it'll hold even your weight. So you'd probably so naturally walk around them. We should just start flying over them if they're small enough. Okay, there should be enough room. Insert movement and action. Um, I will still. I 
and follow. William William and some lava. All right, he's going to go for it again. Hey, he succeeded. Uh oh. He is no longer laughing. He's no longer incapacitated, but he is still prone. There's. Uh, for bonus action, I'm gonna heal Gronkum. Thank you. What a shitty roll, sorry. <laughs> nice. And then I guess I'm gonna ready an action to throw a firebolt at the first enemy I see that enters my sight range. Okay. Alright. Alright, well, let's see. One, so she'll land there. So we're making her right the stairs. What do you see? Uh, he's currently looking very concerned towards the left. Yeah, as you literally watch, like, the creature stop laughing. I'll just, I'll, I point my finger at it. Okay. Excuse me. I'm just going to try and squeeze in there. Kind of poke her head around the corner. <laughs> you see the giant creature from before. I see what you're concerned about. Uh-huh. You see the remnants of the boulder that fell there earlier that it just kind of like broke its way through the center of? Okay, Deft, here's the plan. There's no way Gronkum is not going to charge that thing when he sees it. <laughs> so, uh, so true. Borrow my flames, sneak up behind it, and I'll throw my blade at it while you stab it and Gronkum hits it from the front. Okay, you want me to go closer to that thing? Well, we seem to prefer daggers over the bow, and... Can you imbue fire to your bow? Yeah, uh, no, I can't. So, if you're gonna borrow my fire... Sure, sure, I can... I can do that. That's something I can do. Great. Right. Because she be fire resistant creatures. Uh, he doesn't know this one is fire resistant. <laughs> Ari is going to kind of quietly move over to there, or at least as quietly as she can without a stealth check, and ready in action to throw the Shadow Blade at the unidentified creature in synchronization with Death and Grom. Or okay. the Gronkum. You watch as the body before you falls, the laughing that has been so funny for so many rounds comes to an end. What do you Kron do? Krokom steps over the body and okay. punches the big creature. Alright, so you step out through the illusion. Oh. 
Oh, thank goodness it was prone. Oh, it did not stop, stand up? No, it uh, rolls at the end of its turn. So it's still on the ground. So it's not incapacitated, but it never got up. Oh. So lucky. Not fair. Two natural ones. Deny me my glory. My beautiful ones. Time for deft. It is go time. It is it is time. I'm gonna do what Ari told me to do and start moving towards it. You should have been like, look, I have an awesome bow. So it's vicious. Yeah. I'll get I'll get right here, why not? Also, is he successful in borrowing her mantle or uh I don't know, Deft. Oh, was that some was that part of the plan? She said to borrow part. her flames and you know. Tonight, yeah, I've got I missed that part. I'm just gonna stab. I'm gonna stab see what happens. Uh, just gonna roll with it, just gonna roll with it. You do get advantage, technically. Okay. Can I take a call shot? I'd like to try and slash its eyes. Or an eye. Okay. Uh, so you just take, uh, it'd be flat. Mm -hmm. He's kind of distracted with Gronkum. That's a roll with advantage. Because he's prone, you'd have to apply this. Just okay. Yeah, I'll do that. That is a three. Alright, so. Well. Does not hit. So as you try to get him. Throws it off. You do have the left dagger, though. I will uh, not take a tall shot with my left dagger. Okay. That one you just kind of like slide into the rib. Don't forget your sneak attack. I have so many buttons, it's getting hard to find. You make sure you're. There you go. All the d6s. All the dice. And then as Deft goes to stab, Ari will throw the blade and try and synchronize it with his attacks. Okay. It does find purchase. You do hit the creature, but it seems like it's pretty hardy. <clears throat> also, can I point out how coincidental it is that the plan was to synergize Gronkum Death. Where's he going? Him. Yeah, that went really well. Where's he going, though? William? He's gonna do William things. <laughs> he's going off to battle. No, no, I think he's going to offer them a stay at a hotel. Or ask them about one. You're gonna murder him. No, dude. Do you have any idea how rude it is to, you know, murder someone who's asking about a good hotel? They're going to crush him like a grape. <laughs> like a little old grape. It's been left in the sun for too long. He's like a raisin. He's a raisin tech now. What you don't know is William is master of dragon coat. He knows these things. Dragons can't kill I people asking about I don't hotel. trust them. I don't trust that. Have you ever seen a dragon kill someone asking about a hotel? Have you ever seen a dragon? Fair. <laughs> Other than Allie. Other than so, Allie. We, we have seen you one. You got she me there. Not, she's not killed anyone asking about a hotel. <laughs> so, clearly there's a connection. I mean, you never know. Max is going to kind of run out of the giant creature as well, get behind the big guy like, whoa. Uh, he'll take his two swings, and he's tapped out on everything else. 
Ooh, ooh. Man, this thing has such low AC. It's sad. He like rolled a three. His uh, bless thing or bless roll was a two, and then the mod's like plus nine, so he hits regardless. These guys have so much damage. <laughs> oh, that's what they. That's a twenty-nine. All right. Your efforts seem to be paying off. Baby Phoenix is sitting with Ari doing Baby Phoenix things. Mm-hmm. He did. There's. I'm gonna heal Gronk him again with my... Do you bonus? fire a line of sight to the target? Oh, did he move around the other side? There's so much shit on there, I can't see the walls. Okay, hold on. Uh, that's gone. So that's a cone. This so is the other wall? Yeah. The wall's right there, the square is. The circles are boulders. The big red square is where the building collapsed. And the green circle's you. Okay, I'm gonna get to the doorway then. From movement. Yeah. Actually... Aura of Vitality does not require line of sight. It doesn't? Let me look. Looks like sweet. One creature in the aura, yeah. Doesn't say anything about being able to see him. No, I still need to uh, be up there where I can see does what's that, going on and move the aura. Does that make... Theris a Sith? <laughs> I'm working on it. I mean, Jedi. Jedi. Uh, yeah. So I don't think Sith are known for you know, healing people through walls. I suppose yeah, Jedi are indeed on either, one, but... but a little bit better there. He's one with the Force. He knows when you're getting injured. And the uh, the creature is uh, not incapacitated or under the effect of something that doesn't need to get hit, right? No, it is currently prone still, and they're just like whacking away at it. Oh crap! I'll get disadvantage, but that's fine. Allie. Grab some eggs for breakfast. <laughs> Tempting. I'll say disadvantage, but what we'll produce. Actually, what do we have at level one? Be funny. How's about we do so seven points of force down? It stands up. <laughs> See, I was just thinking that my icon would fit inside that thing's mouth. He watches, it stands up, it's mad. It's going to rage. Uh oh. And then it's going to take a swing with its maul. It swings back to hits e death or tries to. It's a 28. Uh, my AC is 29, actually. Yeah, that hits. Oh. 28 points of bludgeoning damage. That would kill me. Max into you. Um, uncanny dodge. I'm going to take half that. Okay, so reduce that down to 14. He turns back around. He's going to try to hit Max. He 
This guy is much bigger and much angrier. Uh, he goes to hit Max. Max holds up his shield and takes the blow, though, managing to uh, hold it off for now. And then he's going to try to move. Uh, that's going to stay right where it is. Wolfguard. What do you do, a wise blood hunter? Okay. Making a mad dash. As you run through the cold ball before, you just hear. And it sounds like they're beginning to wake up. Um, however, they seem to not be coming out of their house. Baby Phoenix. Uh, he's just hanging out with you. He's actually going to lend you aid on your next attack card. All right. Oh, no. It's his turn again. Not again. Please don't hurt me. Yeah, that's going to be all of you. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm outside the range. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> and you watch as it exhales this massive blast of fire. You're just kind of like at point blank range, like, Mommy! Death? Allie, Ari, Baby Phoenix, Wolfbert. No, Baby Phoenix. Oh. Any cat. Just. Baby Phoenix and you before. I'm actually going to get a beer before I roll this damage, but I can explain part of it to you before I even have to roll dice, though. There's a lot of dice. I am happy that I will be taking none of it. You just look... Yeah, it's exactly. You just look up at it, and you just feel the heat change. It's like your hair just kind of begins to blow back. And just the extreme heat that's about to come out before it even blows out the blast is just terrifying. Um, you quickly react out of instinct to save yourself, and you immediately your thought goes to your friends who probably aren't going to be able to evade it in time. Um, or you'll probably be fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking of Allie. I know she's not doing too good. Oh god, I'll roll it now. That'll be good. So, you guys watch as the tunnel fills up around you guys as well. Out of dice. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. 
Ouch. So I've got some bad news for Wolf all Wolf three Wolf. of you. No. Oh my goodness. Is Wolfheart dead? Dead? I don't think so. You have uh, to do no. He only took like his current get. base hit points. No one took full. Okay, and then anyone who did take full is good. 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 Uh, all right, so I'm fine. You jinxed yourself. So your Phoenix Spark pops you back up. Yep, but because I also had mental flames. Or something, oh no! There's a fiery explosion. Oh no! Oh no! Does it hit allies? It does, doesn't it? I believe it's just an alien double checking it. As you see, as Allie reaches down to see if you're okay, as you come back. Allie's down, isn't she? No, Allie's like barely hanging on. Oh my goodness. Each creature within 10 feet of you takes more damage with the dispersal level plus charisma, but if mental flame, it's level plus double charisma. Alright, so, so. Each creature around her takes 19 points of fire damage. Hmm. Oh, this has been bad. Oh. Phoenix is immune to fire. <laughs> Baby Phoenix is fine. He's just like, blip, 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 blip. In fact, if anything, he looks happier. Playing around he like, he looks like it's a water hurt. sprinkler or something. <laughs> he looks a little concerned about Wolfgart. Oh. Yeah. Whew. That was great. So you watch as um, Ali leans over to check on Ari, and as Ari's eyes open up with the spark, you just watch as Ali falls to the ground. I don't think Ari ever fell. It was, she was hit with the shockwave and the fire uh -huh. explosion probably burst out and, you know, ran back into her. Mm. So you just watch as the two of them are completely unconscious. Um, Hoi. Yeah. That was his attack. Unfortunately, not using the ability from my recollection doesn't change the fact that the mantle is still or would have exploded. Alright, Harry. I'm getting a beer. Think about what you got. Huh. Huh. So this is a tricky situation. Oh, I have four potions of healing on me. Oh, cool. That's actually a good point. I should check. Do I have any potions of healing? Does anybody else know that Wolfgar's got potions of healing on him? I already right. know. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't even remember where I got them from. I probably bought them for the tournament. Alright, I'm back. Okay. Back. So, let's... There's no way she's moving two people this morning. <laughs> so. Um... Ellie is about equivalent size to Ari. Uh... As Ellie is falling down unconscious, Ari's going to attempt to catch her. Okay. Roll a dexterity check. Nope. <laughs> it's a thought that counts. It's a thought that counts. Staggers as she's a <laughs> in red shape. Um, I'm going to just do her 
drag her down the stairs. <laughs> but just roll her. Ari <laughs> is going to attempt to pick up uh, Allie. Mm -hmm. Oh, an athletics check. Yeah. Uh, I'm like, where is that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you struggle a bit, but you manage to kind of, you could drag her at least. Okay. Now, I assume the phoenix looks absolutely unperturbed by the fire. Yeah, he's just kind of like pecking at Wolfgart. Or he's going to uh, um uh, all right. Or he's going to scoop up the baby phoenix and set it on Wolfgart's chest. Can I please kill him? Just kind of looks. She will then use uh, her bonus action to consume a first level spell slot to restore the font, and uh, she's going to attempt to at the very least stabilize Allie and hope that the Phoenix has got both <laughs> uh, right. Go ahead, roll a medicine check. Yep, she's going to expend two points for this build again. Empower Reserve? Yeah, Empower Reserve to give yourself advantage on said medicine check. Okay. You don't have the kit, but you scrounge together and make do what you can. You do manage to kind of stabilize her, so she is unconscious, but she does have one hit point. Okay. And then um, Ari is going to use her movement action to uh, <clears throat> back up behind some cover. <laughs> Ground cover. You just watch um, as you guys are kind of hitting in. They kind of turn the other way, and then you just feel this heat even blasting back at the tunnel through you. You just watch this light emanate. Um, you don't see Deft for about a second or two, and then you finally see Deft's form just kind of like through the smoke. But it just continues down, and you have no idea what's going on with everybody else down that tunnel. Actually, you probably don't even know they're down the tunnel, other than the fact that you heard some attacks coming from that way. Okay, well, in that case, what I'm going to do is, um, what I do anyways, I'm just going to catch. I love it. Making Gronkum decisions is always easy. Sometimes at work, I just think, what would Gronkum do? <laughs> and then after I get back from HR, <laughs> Okay, so Gronkum swings at it, and at the end of his swing, he grabs his sword and pulls it out, and on his back swing, aims at the creature. Okay. <clears throat> it's like watching Conan the Half-Orc Barbarian go to work. Max damage. <laughs> Okay, quick question. If I go uh, oh, with my arm, if I go over, does that blood carry over? No, it can't if, hold any more blood. Ah, it, you can't bank more blood than... Let me double check. Hold on. I think you could only bank two... 250 points. Because I'm currently at 251. 
That sounds about right. No, 252. Mm, yeah, that sounds about right. So one, two, three, four, yeah. Five charges would probably be about the total amount it could hold up to. Because it can only do... The other one, once we're done... Alright, so my All armor is right. fully charged. You are fully charged up. <clears throat> Alright. What's he doing? Hold on. I gotta read this. <clears throat> I am now concerned my rage might run out before we kill this guy. That would be a fair thing. How many more rounds do you have? Two. Ooh. But I still got two more rage charges, so it's okay. You watch as William kind of begins to cast this spell, and you watch as, like, the air around it begins to swirl, and you just watch as this massive dome just appears kind of covering the entire bridge uh, as you watch the advancing troops just kind of smack into it, and they're unable to advance. As he expends his fifth-level spell slot to cast Wall of Force. Actually, we don't see any of that because we're all inside and he's outside. He did it though, damn it! <laughs> he did it in spirit. And a, a couple of us are unconscious, so we could. Hey, see he looks back for everyone's approval, only to find no gazes upon him, and he feels emptier inside than ever. <laughs> and I will... He's like, the... they'll never appreciate my contribution. But yes, so he has held off the troops from the south for the moment. Oh, before your turn, Deft. Yep. <sighs> so, uh... Are you bringing me my gifts, or do I gotta come find them? See, the thing is, we're a little occupied at the moment. Um... If you could call off your goons, we would love to come see you. <laughs> what? Sorry, can't hear you. Going through a tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> you gathered the fact. Roll an insight check, Deft. Okay. Insight's not good. Oh! Yes, it is. That's a good roll, though. <laughs> <laughs> you sit there and you hear the voice in the back of your head. It's like, you know, it's probably not best to announce that you're struggling when you're trying to negotiate from a position of power. And. It's probably a lot easier for him to just take things off us if his minion just kills us by accident regardless. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm figuring that out. <laughs> Alright, now it's your turn. This is not good. <laughs> Um, what, what can I do here? What, what can I do? Let's see, what do I have in my bag of tricks? Um, I think I'd like for Wolfheart to not be dead. 
So I'm going to disengage. Okay. Take a couple steps back. Take a couple more steps back. Jogging, running, sprinting. Um, I will force speed Wolfgart one of my healing potions. All right. So Wolfgart, by whatever luck you live by, <laughs> you come to just everything smells burnt and. Oh yeah, I'm Does pretty sure that coach those... is also non-existent. <laughs> Oh, don't you remember we gave my code a proper burial? Define proper burial. We didn't even have it, time to dig a grave. Once it looked up, once it looked like Patches' of skin, he just discarded it. <laughs> oh, Def, you killed yourself. I know, I fixed it. Um... Def's like, nope, I know. <laughs> <laughs> this is for me. Like, look over Wolfgart's dying corpse. Just drink the last health potion. Oh, I'm sorry, did you want some? <laughs> oh, speaking of Wolfgart's corpse, does he still have those, um, fireball balls? Shut up. Well, I know. <laughs> there we go. I wanted to not incinerate everybody. Um, but they may be okay. Thank you for having me. <laughs> See? Wasn't everybody already incinerated, though? Like, massively incinerated. So he has five fireballs worth of orbs on him. So essentially, if they get triggered, they... <laughs> so there is potential. I decided to rule against it for the time being. Um, where basically that fire attack could have ignited all of those, and then there would have been five fireballs that also would have gone off in that same space. So we probably would have incinerated Ari, Deft, Ali, and Wolfgart, and only Baby Phoenix would have been there to bathe in their ashes. I might have lived. Nope. Maybe. Five fireballs? Mm, you never know. Maybe. If you passed all of your saves. If I passed oh. all of my saves, I would take no damage. <laughs> you just like look and there's like a circle like just around you and everyone else is just, just dead. No one left. There's not even ash. I'm on the single pillar that the creator uh, missed. Yeah, right. I'm, I'm just okay. Time to get up. Wolfgart, I'm just slapping him. Wake up. Time to go. Alright, that brings us to the unconscious one hit point girl. I'm gonna do a little more movement. I'll go for it. Movement? Uh, here. Alright. Allie's still unconscious. Wolfgar. Uh, I'll take one of my four potions and shove it in her mouth. <laughs> here, kid. So that's your action. How? Oh, it's the healing. What kind is it? Uh, regular healing potion. Could so, does someone have that uh, to roll? Uh, if it's regular, uh, it's two d four plus two. There you go. Sit. She kind of looks down the hall towards the other things. She just like looks terrified. She doesn't get knocked down very much. I'm gonna go over here so there's a wall between me and it. <laughs> All right. Anything else? Uh, bonus, bonus action stealth. Okay. That brings us to Flying Terrace, by the way. I think you're still flying, correct? Until we do a long rest. <laughs> Continuing to heal Gronk with a bonus. You just watch as the mission fails horribly. You just watch the flying priest or the cleric fly out. Later, suckers! <laughs> and I don't think it'll work, but I'll whip out my wand. Damn it. Close. We tried it. It begins to kind of slow and then it just powers through and it kind of looks back. And I'll 
step behind the wall. Smart man. Max just like watches in terror as he like barbecued half of you. Um, nothing more he can do. He doesn't have advantage because no one's there, but he will continue attacking. He's like, hey, over here! Oh no. <laughs> That's not good. No, it is not. And there's no half one close to him, is there? That's really not good. Yeah. Similar. <laughs> That's really not good. Mm -hmm. oh, I know how this will manifest itself. Don't you worry about it yet. I'll remind you when it kicks in later. Um, he does drop his sword, though, so he's going to waste his turn picking it back up and rearming himself. Wait, I left. What did, what did I miss? Uh, nothing. Nothing. No. Re Reinforce Yeah, yeah for huh? the other guy. For the other uh, guy? Yeah, so, uh, Max tried to swing at him. Uh, as he yelled out to taunt at him, he's like, look at me! And then he literally, like, drops his sword, and then, um... Yeah, somehow this reinforcement thing is gonna manifest itself. Well, it's time to go. What well, baby Phoenix does best. Baby Phoenix pulls an Ant Man move, goes into his mouth. Oh, baby Phoenix is the hit. Get him. Yeah. Second attack. Oh, that is too. Oh, baby Phoenix is gonna take this whole encounter. Don't worry. Baby Phoenix. So impressive. Alright, Ali. This <laughs> is not looking much better than the rest of you. Um already used your fifth level, didn't you? Shoot. <clears throat> hmm. That would make Gronkum very mad. It's too big, too. Actually, nope. I could turn it into a bunny rabbit. That would be very funny. I would rip its head off. That would yeah! Be no, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the thing that Allie always does to annoy things. Especially me. Allie's going to go ahead and start casting a spell, and she's going to cast Slow on our dear friend. That is a big fat failure. The Bless does fall off. So that is the one on Gronkin. That already went away when she went down. Oh, it did, yeah. But I still didn't take it off you, I think. Or did it already fall off? Yeah, it already fell off. Alright. Good. Even better. Alright, so slow. So negative 2 AC, disadvantage, dexterity, check speed, half can't use reactions, and can only do an action or a reaction if it casts a spell, other fun stuff. Um, that's 
about what she's got. She's gonna, like, hide over here. <laughs> You don't know what's happening over here. In fact, that's gonna be even more. There we go. It'll catch up eventually. Wow, it's taking forever. Also, you can remove the Tasha Sidious laughter from them. I'm still waiting for my. There we go. <laughs> Took a second for that update. Alright. Hello? What's that? Okay. My guest grounds might be crashed. I can't hear you, you're super quiet. I said my fence grounds might be okay. No, I was remasking it took a, it took a second even on my side. <laughs> Alright, William is off doing William things. We'll start. I see the creature from here. Hard to miss. This is one of those Nat 20 nights. Oh, there we go. I hit Fantasy Ground was back. It was the uh, map. I made more stuff visible. That's a hit there. I take the five off. Do you want me to roll that? I don't think it took the minus five ball. Are you trying to do a shark shooter? Yeah. Uh, it hit. It has 14 AC minus two because it's slow. <laughs> you can thank your dying dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Max is like, okay, don't drop the sword this time. Don't drop the sword this time. He does get advantage because of Baby Phoenix. Alright. 
staggering there where you uh, brace yourself against the rock wall. Uh, for her action, she will uh, put her hand to her chest and she will see Phoenix fly to reinforce herself. <laughs> <laughs> um, bonus action, she will call the Shadow Blade back to herself. Okay. And hold it out to hold it back. Who's this? Would you say you are very quiet? Yeah, who's this? Thanks with the sword. Yeah, your sword, okay. Made of dark shadowy awesomeness that does, like, how much damage is it? Uh, 2d8 second. Mm. Uh, oh boy, here I go again. Daft's always trying to do everything by himself. I think she's still just three rounds on the shadow blade. Woo! That looks like it hurt a lot. <laughs> 16 points. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's engaged. Bonus action. Couple steps back. Yeah. I guess I'm gonna do the same thing. I can't really see. Oh, the elite wall is gone, by the way. The what? My illusion wall has okay. faded. <laughs> it has been a minute. I'm trying to think, because I don't want to. I don't want to meta game this, but because like Def's in my aura. But I, I don't know that she's hurt or how bad. Well, I would say it really depends, and I'll let you do it either way. So if you want to play it by if you're aware of the presence, I'll let you totally play it that way because it totally makes sense. If we want to say that the range kind of gives you a sense of people in it, we could. It doesn't specifically say that, so I'd probably rule more like you'd have to act. See yeah, them or be I, aware of that way too. I think that's too much meta gaming. I'm just gonna I'll peek around the corner. We would see probably easily um, the two of them because they're right on the side with you. Yeah. Your spiritual weapon you probably could have moved up previously. To I have to use a little bit the further. heal uses my bonus action, so I can't move the spiritual weapon. Ah, I gotcha. I see. Um, so yeah, you probably see the two of them. You're not sure what it's fighting on the other side. It. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna get uh, Max. Probably a good call. Oh, and now here comes the 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 non one in one of those rolls. <laughs> it feels a bit better. He's and afraid he's gonna get hit like Jeff did. I'm gonna try the wand again. It's it a failure. He just watched it locks up. Man, that's an old item, too. I think that's like the first one we ever found. I think you're correct in that. We have three. We have. That one, we have the... Oh, no, we have four. Didn't you just get one techno? Yeah. So we have the wand of paralysis. We have the wand of dancing lights that has an extra light. Yeah, I've got we have the two. wand of fear, and then the wand of negotiation. Yep. The people in your wands. So I guess you want me to roll in another save since it's at the end of its turn? Yeah, so he can't do anything. And his fire breath did not recharge, thankfully. Ooh, that was a big one. Yeah, so, he's good now. That sucks. Like, we totally did not get anybody to go because he went next. 
All right, so he well, I am at least one turn. Yeah. He's no longer paralyzed. He is still slowed, though, but he is still raging. Well, actually, he a, can't be raging ends. anymore because if it's oh, barbarian wait, no, rage, if attacked. he didn't get attacked, he wasn't attacked this round, though. Mm -hmm. uh, well, does the um, save come at the beginning or the end of the it's turn? It's the end, so he, he he doesn't get to do anything. But then, yeah, then he no longer has rage. But he uh, still got hit. The rage is if you either attack or are attacked. Mm -hmm. And he, he most assuredly has been hit this way. Yeah, baby <laughs> Phoenix hit him. I mean, pretty much everybody hit him this round. Max hit him this round. <laughs> He's good on rage. Mm -hmm. Uh, but he can't do anything else because that was the end of his turn. He looks very sad in slow motion. Deft. Better end okay. it quick. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, I will pick another step in. Take another stab. Of course. Nice. Let's see what you get. Press my button. Uh oh. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> okay, go ahead, roll damage. Oh, Don't forget to Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a good down. What is the you resistance? Just, you just hear this voice in the back of your head, like. Had you invoked my gift, he'd be dead right now. Resistant because of rage. Yep. Oh, okay, I see. I just, I think Gronk would really like to kill this one, so, you know, it, I, it was intentional, of course. Totally intentional. I say while taking another stab. <laughs> That's a hit. 24. Nothing. You just like, you know, just stab it in the stomach and it just like, boop. You felt brave. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Alright, alley. Five. From the five. And 15, 20, 25, 30. What do we got? Gonna burn a second level spell slot. She has a whip. She's got something better than that. Just in she case has a nay nay. She's gonna cast Force Ray! Her reskinned fire spell. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that hits. Uh, that is. Seven points of damage. Ooh. Well, we got two more. Let's see. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> there is still the soul. Okay. <laughs> okay. Did somebody say soul? Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Ow! <laughs> She's pissed that she got knocked unconscious. The double nat 20s. Jeez. So that's how we make Scorching Ray useful. We can't it's handle anything normally. We gotta make a force one. Alright, Def, so this is essentially how you watch this happening. So you just watch as Allie walks around the corner. Basically, only six hit points to her name. Just the hair, like, starts floating upwards and she just, like, leases these three blasts and you just watch it just like... And he literally, like, splatters. It gets ripped apart. I just want to sit down for a minute. And then she does the same thing. She just like falls back and lays on the ground. You All right. So currently, to reach out with the hand. You are not in combat at the moment. You know there are other troops around. You're not sure why they haven't got here yet, but for the moment, you seem to have at least a minute of reprieve. So the giant thing is dead. You guys are pretty fucked up. So, uh, Ferris, if you want to do your healing 
I've got about. six more rounds of that. So, and also, as that thing dies, can I suck it or try to suck its soul if it has one? You certainly you can. Want it's nasty. Yeah, but it could have information we, we that it's useful also. Roll percentile die. Okay. It doesn't really have much of, like, a tangible soul that, like, it will cling on to. You do manage to grasp a few images from the creature, though. Um, as you kind of just focus on it for a minute, you get a few specific images to come to mind. Um... One is it's just kind of patrolling around. You gain a sense or gather it basically. It, it's just a patrolling creature that continuously patrols the area. You get some images of fighting fire giants and other random uh, elementals on the plane. Um, you do get an image of three humanoids, uh, a male and two females. Um, and then uh, you also get a image of the larger dragon, which you saw earlier, um, which you gather to be uh, the largest of the red dragons on the plane. There's all the heat. In there. <laughs> I should whatever knowledge I can get, I'll, I'll share. Like I, I said, I, I tried to get information from it, but all I could gather is this, and I explain what I saw for any kind of mm. layout and other enemies in the area. Uh, you also do with the knowledge you already kind of have available, uh, Ferris. It kind of helps you navigate to some extent. Um, from what you've come to understand from this creature's understanding, at least, of its own wonderful surroundings, is Kerr is essentially the offspring of uh, Lord Nefagin, the larger red dragon, uh, who is kind of bound here. So he is an unbound red dragon, um, which more or less is the one who's trying to get tribute from you now. So he may be the more active one who can actually do more things, but he also probably isn't in charge. Yeah, so sure. what do you guys want to do? Uh, yeah, quest okay. question. Uh, mm -hmm. have, a, have we heard the horns recently? Um, also, is it still four o'clock? It is now 4.04. Okay. Hey, guys. Where's William? I, I, I don't know. Uh, roll an investigation check, Doctor. Okay. You look around, most of the soldiers don't have much on them, it's just their basic gear. On your big buddy, you don't find anywhere that he kind of can have gear stored. It's mostly just like a very large draconic centaur, um, but much, much bigger. Um, yeah, so it doesn't look like anything that you see so far. Is he wearing... Uh, he's mostly just scale. A little bit of armor. No, the red dragon guys. Oh, the red dragon guys? It's just like, uh, let's see, the one who's here. He's bigger. And he was wearing like a splint, I think. I want to hack out one of the big teeth on this thing. 
want a big roll, uh, Sure, roll a dexterity check. Because you kind of like work on getting it. Or it be sat up against one of the walls. Boom. <laughs> Got one. Put that in my pocket. Okay, time to leave this place. It is terrible. But what about William? <laughs> Find us. Probably. Allie's just like laying on the ground. <laughs> William? Well while we're doing this, it does not... I'm going to ask you if, uh, if I, you would allow something. Hmm. The aura of vitality does not say it can be upcast for any benefit. It just does 2d6 hit points. Would you allow it to mm -hmm. do an extra d6 per level above? Or is it like, nope, sorry, that's how it is. Uh, I'm cool either way. Um, hmm. Let me think about that, too, because I can see that being useful. Um, because it's 2d6 per turn as a bonus it, action, yeah, right? Yeah, it's 2d6 as my bonus action to any target within range, including myself. And it's a third what level spells it as a base? Is it a third already? Yeah. Um. It's only one target at a maybe. time. Maybe. Maybe. Let me think about it. But maybe. Because I'll say I can heal us up some more, but I've only got fourth level slots. Yeah, let me think on it. Let's just use the 2d6 for now since okay. it's a bonus. Burn a fourth and spend ten more rounds of healing people. I'm just going to... And don't worry one. about healing Allie. Allie has a lot more hit points than most of you. Okay, well you said she was like at six, so... Oh yeah, no, dude. You gave her some, so she definitely she. I can tell you what she's actually at. She has, she's got like twenty ish at the moment. I think she's got just north of Grunkum. Actually, Grunkum, yeah, she's got seven more hit points than Grunkum. That feels too bad. I'm gonna look for William. Are there any of the smaller dragon guys around here? No, not uh, most of them were dispatched within the uh, the little dining room. You guys all hear the voice again. Ah, <sighs> well, I would say I am disappointed. But I've really come to expect this from most of the people that come to visit. I guess I'll just have to send out someone to look for you. See you soon. Okay, there's my ten rounds of healing, and I also reach over and, and gently tap Gronkum on the shoulder with my rod. <laughs> Coin. Do what now? <laughs> You are you're fully healed. I use the rod. Right. Right he tapped you with his magical rod, and now you're fully healed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Gronkum goes into the dining room and looks for one of the smaller guys that's about his size. That's wearing the splint mail. Okay, you think it looks? Yeah, yeah, it's, it works enough. Stand up and uh, then we can move to the dining room as well. Uh, you just want to split mail? <laughs> it's just standard old split mail. Is there any sign of William? Uh, not under this table. Well, that is where he likes to hide. He should appear on the map. William! Daft? Uh, yeah. Okay. I will check the map. Do 
You go ahead and pull the map out. And it looks like much further to the south, there is a little tiny um, dot with the representation of your team's icon. Uh, essentially <laughs> holding off a bunch of red dots. <laughs> uh, run out the door onto the balcony. And you just see like this massive amount of uh, creatures being held off by William and his uh, wall of force at the moment. He's kind of like in a bubble holding it. I'm just going to really slowly salute out of respect. Yeah, the numbers are quite greater at this point, too. Yeah, I'll send him a message. Uh, hey, uh, hey, William, you're doing a really great job. Um, if you leave, will that stay up, or do you have to stay there? He's like, oh, don't worry about me. We're just negotiating over uh, the club entrance fee. <laughs> He's just up to William. Thing. Can you can you believe it? They don't want to pay a an entry fee. The nerve. Tip. Patrons these days, you know. Night. We'll start. Good night, man. Super. Night, dude. I'm happy I didn't blow you up. <laughs> Technically. Oh, well, actually. You should have killed me off. We should have killed like five other people too, but hey. Yeah, you know, I couldn't kill the entire party. Like that literally would have taken out a lot of people and caused like a cave in. Depending on how it was done, Ari may have been Ari and the Phoenix may have been the only survivors of this fireball so much. Yeah. Forgetting about, forgetting about the cave in. That is but, true. I'm passing out here, guys, so I'll talk to you all later. Night, man. Good night. Alright, so... What is your guys' plan? You have someone who is now looking for you, apparently. You have your halfling holding off people, very temporarily. Is he all right? Oh, yeah, uh, he was fine. We should go. Uh, nods. Yeah, he's doing great. He's doing great. So funny. Um, where does the map say to go? That's a good question. Um, uh, map. Where are, are we going? Map? Where are you trying to go? Portal. Yeah. You've never actually seen, you're not 100% sure you've seen a portal. Um, the two that you basically know that you had some reference to is basically there's one where the black object was, where there's only three in the entire game. Um, and then there was one outside, uh, closer to where the other deer competitive team was. To find some place to recover. Yeah, that's probably not right here. Um, I agree. Is there anywhere on the map? Maybe yeah. Can I can, I can I try and find a room we can kind of block a sure. maybe? Sure. Yeah, like a room. I have done a full investigation check. Do you guys want to sleep in little uh, cobalt warns? little huts? Just a map. Maybe there's a safe room. Oh no. Nice work, Gronko. Did you get the one that I rolled in the tower? Uh, from before? Yeah. You don't. Maybe the map can detect a safe room. That would be super convenient. Yeah, it's just more of the same armor. Yeah. Focus on the safe room. Maybe I'll be here. Oh, magical map. Tell us where to go. Where are you? Uh, we are looking for somewhere you can kind of sleep. It's safe. Yeah, somewhere safe. That or the presence of one of the mystical safe rooms. 
Yeah, I don't think you're going to find one of those here. Well, we need William so he can make the uh, shelter at least. Yeah, the problem is William is currently on the other side of a completely indestructible uh, barrier. That's why I keep wanting to get to learn that ritual from him so I can use it. What if we get Gronkum to break the bridge after the barrier? The barrier's on the ground side of the bridge. Oh. Yeah, and his that only holds for ten minutes. It's a wall of force. Yeah. I need to need to buy. Uh oh, sure, okay, I can do that. Um And he has to be standing there? Out of character, uh, no, but he has an orb around him. himself. Yeah, he built it in the shape of an orb. So he did not need to, but he's chosen to. And out of character, barring teleports, uh, yeah, not even Gronk can break a wall of force. Gronk can teleport. Yeah, but I don't think he can teleport to people. Mm, no, he cannot. <laughs> <laughs> Although I know someone who can. Uh, not, not right now, probably. Can't. <laughs> This is probably the most exhausted Ari has ever been. Well, the funny part is, too, so let's see. I think you're probably really tapped. I don't know where Theris is. Max is completely tapped out. Ari is... Ari Ali has... Spells? A lot of fourths, thirds, seconds, and firsts. Ali has only used a second, a third, and a fifth spell. Slot. I've got three first, one second, and one fourth available. Everything else is gone. Out of character, Ari is literally exhausted on everything. I have cantrips. William has... Uh, I think he's used some more. He's used one of every spell slot. I've got a lot of bunch... I've got a bunch of spell slots still available. Uh, that will uh, be leading us to a uh, Earth Root Global Tunnel. That seems safe. Uh, Grunkum, roll a perception check on the question, because I saw that late. Uh, possibly. You gather that's probably why he made it in the shape of an orb. So he's literally blocking the bridge with a giant orb. So nothing appears to be flying past him at the moment. Um, but there definitely probably could be some stuff that flies. Okay, so my worry is, once the bubble goes away, what's William going to do? Collect his entry fee. I don't know, but there's nothing we can do for him right now. I've got nothing left, and you you have something. Other than flying him away? No. We can't get up to him to fly him away. And we don't have time to wait here. Alright, I'll go get him. You can't get to him inside his bubble. He's inside the bubble? Yeah, he surrounded himself because there is, like, other flying creatures. He didn't want to get attacked. So he's literally, like, locked up. So he cast the, Why, the, the tiny hut in the middle it. of the bridge? Mm hmm Okay, as I said, barring and teleport, and not getting them out of there. So yeah, he's wall it. forced into a bubble right now. Is it a, f a wall of force, or is it the tiny hut thing? No, it's a wall of force. Okay, so if it's a tiny oh. hut, it's like, we could just run in there and camp. Mm -hmm. uh, we wouldn't be able to run in there because you have to be in it when it's cast. Otherwise, it denies entry. Yes, yeah, so you have like s probably six minutes left at this point. Yeah, that's uh, that's why we're at the early start. He's pressing people to start moving. 
I'm gonna send William another message. Um, how are you gonna get out of there? What's the plan? Well, as soon as we settle this dispute, they're all gonna pay me the entry fee. And then, I mean, once they pay the entry fee, then, I mean, I can't really not let them not come through. Don't worry about it. I'll be just fine. So, should we go, or should we wait for you? Um, yeah, you, um, I did want to talk to you guys, though. You also didn't pay your entry fees, but, uh, we'll chat about that later. Yeah, okay. We if you survive. <laughs> you just hear scribbling. <laughs> like on a, a notepad. Party of entry fee. Got it. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure this mountain is William's hotel now. So... We should go. Uh-huh. You hear from the north. The horn. We should Sound go. We should go. We're, we're yeah. going right now. But do we need the gnome? We're just going to start pushing depth. Come on. Yep, going, minute. leaving. Go. Right back. Okay. We're going to start making our way to a couple of tunnel that seems like it'll lead to a safe area. So, you look around. You don't see anything currently. What there is is what there is. Uh, okay. Let's take a look around these rooms then. There is map to be explored. All right, where are we exploring? Uh, this way. So you do see a big set of iron doors uh, up to the northeast. Uh, there is also a tunnel that continues up over here. Um, I will put an ear against the door, focusing on the necklace, just to see if I can hear As anything. As you touch the door, the door is hot to the touch. Ooh, ouch! Maybe I won't lean on it directly. I'll just see if I can hear anything beyond. Okay, roll a perception check with advantage. Uh, it's com compromised of 10, 10 by 10, or 10, 10 by 10 squares, Gronkum. Essentially is what he has to work with, so it's pretty big. You hear someone groveling. Groveling? Yeah. Oh. Please! It's, it's all I have. And then you hear something in the language you 
unfortunately recognize at this point, but you don't know what it says. It's draconic. Is it and, short enough for me to memorize? And relate to Ali? Uh, not unexpectedly, because at first you hear draconic, and then you hear the sound of sizzling. Okay. Yeah, that would have been a little distracting, I think. Ooh. Uh, Deft. You also notice on your map, one of the rogue party members uh, no longer is appearing on the map. Okay. All right. This door is bad news. I just make eye contact with Ari and just shake my head. <laughs> sure, just not this way. Just pulling Ari back this way. He didn't like the gift. I was just like sitting like, where are we going? It's too many tunnels. Someone else could totally explore the uh, other room while we're exploring this room. Well, that would be Saracen. He is away right now. Or we could just use all the balls of fireball. Collapse the tunnels around an area and then rest within the collapsed tunnels. Efficient. Except they have an army of thousands of kobolds at their disposal to dig tunnels. But for about a couple hours, it'll be okay. I'm back. Welcome back. I'm back. This should be all right. You mean you don't want me to go through the double doors and pay your tribute? Definitely not right now. Well, don't worry. You have about four minutes left to figure it out. Great. Okay. Before that giant army starts coming through. Or you can go blow up the bridge. Or we could go blow up this guy. Which guy? Big scary guy. You could we, blow up big scary guy. If if he eats Wolfgart, and a Wolfgart makes them explode inside him, eh? It would be interesting. It could happen. Yeah, I'm just gonna sneak back to the group quietly. I'll tell everybody that the big scary guy is behind that door, probably. What do we do? I know what Gronk would vote to do. I also know what Gronk would vote to do. Can you misty step through a force bubble? No, nothing can pass through it, unfortunately. I think the only thing that will even remove it is like a disintegrate or some shit. I forget. There's one spell that removes it. Well, I can't get to William. What are you guys doing up there? They're trying to decide. They're trying to find. Or, like, was that for the earring, or was that the yeah, message from that? Uh, earring. Yeah, disintegrate's the only thing that can destroy it. We're trying to find some place to rest. And it extends into the ethereal. Yep. 
force yeah. oftentimes can affect ghosts. Yeah, I don't know. Issue. I don't think they're going to give us a chance to rest. Considering that guy is right there. Army back there. We got about three and a half minutes. Probably less. What do we do then? Um... <laughs> I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm not the plan guy. Let's go kill something. Well, I'm <clears throat> limited on what I can do spell-wise, so... <laughs> I was going to say I can start banishing us, but I can only do one. I, I think at this point we bargained for our lives. <laughs> How much money would that cost? Well, do we know where the uh, jackass that was in our minds is? I guess we do, in fact. Probably. Maybe. Uh, where? Um, if I tell you, are you going to run in that direction immediately? <laughs> I won't run. I'll walk. Uh, Briskly. You, won't, you won't jog? Run, walk, fly, uh, skip in this direction. Which direction? Oh, trick question. That direction, and I point behind me. Glockham starts cartwheeling. <laughs> uh. <laughs> we Predictable. I didn't say I wouldn't do it. So right. twenty eight is good for cartwheeling, right? I can beat that. Yeah, that would work. I think. Body block him. Oh, now he just cartwheels over you. Sorry, watch as Gronkin cartwheels by. Well, this might as well be happening. Alright, Grunkley, you see the big double doors, uh, more or less they were alluding to. The door is hot. Don't touch it. Hot. I feel like I'm talking to my baby. It's like, no, hot, hot. Don't touch it. <laughs> Of course, Gronkham's going to touch this, though. Of course. Do you have a plan? When do we ever have a plan? Rush in, kill things. I don't think that'll work here. Took me two turns to get there. Cockham kicks open the door. Right, you gotta kick it with an athletic check. Boom. Doesn't budge. I kick harder? Do you have your athletics? What if we just knock? So it's in budge. I could just knock. Like that one too. I turn the handle. <laughs> you pull the latch back in and open the door. <laughs> I always bad at opening doors. I'm getting deja vu. Doors are tricky sometimes. At least it's gonna be fun. Does the door appear to be locked? Nope. I'm just unmasking things.
You open the door as soon as it stops lagging and updates the map. Uh, before Gronkum takes down the door, I want to quick throw down one of my illusion cards to bolster our numbers. Okay. You do my roll? Uh, let's see. Gets ancient red dragon. And, oh, where is it? Possibility. No, I can do it. I just have a thing right here. Okay. Okay. Nine of Diamonds, Ogre Mage. Okay. We got an Ogre Mage. We have an Ogre now, and he is a wizard. He's a wizard, Harry. Me yeah, learn magic. <laughs> <laughs> Me go to wizard school. We no fitting door. Okay. It's so, you notice suspended from the ceiling by a chain a small, dirty looking dwarf slowly being lowered into the lava. You look to the north and you see. Four, you actually roll perception check. Yeah, you see four humanoids. Alright, kind of covers her mouth with shock. Gronkum flies to the dwarf. Hold on one sec, don't move yet. The first creature you see is up in some sort of a stone tower and it appears to be some sort of a kobold. You can kind of see it looking through like a tiny little window. Then you see a man and two females. Currently sitting there and looking up at the uh, dwarf suspended by the chain. Do we recognize any of them? Uh, you recognize that human. Uh, Ferris says, anyways, are the first humanoid. That would be Kerr. It doesn't look that much like a dog. Sorry, who does it look like? Uh, Ferris recognizes the human uh, noid male as Kurt. The person who's asking you for tribute. Okay. So, Gorkum takes a running leap to grab the dwarf before he goes into lava? He'd probably have to fly because he's hanging up in the air a bit. Okay, that works. Okay, so, so you... He runs to the edge here. And fly? And flies, like jumps. Okay, are you trying to catch him and like land on the other side? Or are you trying to like catch him and then come back? I only have enough movement to get to him and then go over here in the air to make my way to over there 
Actually, no, I guess if I dash, I can make it over to here. Upon well, we're not really in combat at the moment anyway, so it's more of what are you attempting to do? Grab him and get him to a safe place so I can then engage in the jackasses up here. And are you ready to engage them right at this moment? No. <laughs> yes. Okay. So go ahead. Well, we'll say you run in. Roll a stealth check for me just to see uh, how much time you have before you're noticed to doing any of this. Okay, so pretty much typical compassion. <laughs> okay, so you run in, you start flying up towards him. Um, you do get spotted. You hear that little kobold yelling about something. Ah, let's see. And you watch as this contraption kind of moves and you watch this mechanical arm that you didn't see before kind of comes out and it like aims at you and it launches a bottle at you. Uh, that is a 15. So you just duck out of the way of the bottle. Uh, go ahead... Roll an attack. Are you attacking the chain that's holding him? Yeah, that would work to try and cut the chains and grab him. Okay, go ahead and just roll an attack roll. It's like you're already, getting cut it. I'm already ready a firebolt to try and intercept another bottle. Okay. So you go ahead and cut it. You start flying back to the other side. It is going to release one more bottle. Um... Roll a, a fireball with disadvantage because you're trying to actually hit the bottle. You want to see if it's a hit first, or are you just going to uh, try to hit it? I mean, she can make a quick judgment as to whether or not it looks like it's going to be way off or something, but considering yeah. she wants to intercept it well before it gets to Yeah, the exactly. So go ahead and roll that. Okay, so that probably hit it, so let's see. He's going to roll. Nice roll. This one is a So we'll just say that this one starts going up in there, and you manage to hit it in there. So, Gronkham, you do manage to land over here with the dwarf. We'll just get the dwarf token. I'll put him in. Another point. <laughs> All right. So you watch as you swing down, or you fly back down with this guy, and you just watch as this first female kind of like walks up to the edge and just looks at you and just glares at you. Like, How dare you! Gawkum laughs just like this. <laughs> and then you hear her. <sighs> Greta Thunberg's in there. How dare you. And then he just watches the other one kind of steps back. And give me one quick second. I gotta make a change. Large. I think it's funny she just turned into an adult red dragon. <laughs> oh, uh, by the way, the ogre mage also starts laughing when Jonathan laughs. Yeah, that's a dragon. Uh-huh. <clears throat> that's definitely a dragon. 
as she transforms into her dragon form. I need everybody <laughs> to roll initiative. Gronk, Gronk, did you think this through? Gronk, <laughs> yes. why did you do this to us? He's in no shape for a battle against one red dragon. <laughs> Probably three red dragons. Well, based on the fact that the other two seems to have backed up, I think they're more interested in viewing what happens. Well, Wolin's already back. Only Kerr backed up. Yeah, but neither of them are moving in an aggressive stance. I assume, judging from their stance and demeanor, they appear to be more in amusement. We shall find out, but this one is not happy with Gronkum right now. I don't know this man. Whoopsie. You watch... As the other female kind of walks forward and her kind of puts the hand on her shoulder and holds her for a second. And that's where we'll pick up next week for your final dragon encounter. Negotiations are going to be a lot more difficult now. <laughs> you did save a Thieves Guild dwarf. That may come in oh. handy later. You're like, wait, Thief Skill Dwarf, I didn't want this one. Throw it back in the lava. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a dwarf. I'll take a Thief Skill Dwarf. Although, just saying, even if you inadvertently save a thief someday, you never know when that may come in handy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you definitely picked a good fight, Gronk. <laughs> yeah, that's a good fight, all right. Um, roll uh, an intelligence check, Gronkum. Oh, that's not good. It's a one. <laughs> Close. It's not the biggest dragon you've seen. If you had to guess, this is probably a younger dragon. Now, all I'm going to say out of character here is... Ari is unable to assist in this endeavor at all. <laughs> She's completely exhausted, and her only cantrips, I'm 99% sure this thing is immune to. Unless you can confuse it with minor illusions, you are pretty much... Yeah, <laughs> yeah Ari can't, can't do anything well. here. If there's anybody that can help, you can stay. Anybody else can leave. I can help, but I don't want to help, is the thing. <laughs> That's how it always starts, though. That's how it always starts. <laughs> I just this... want Gotham to wrestle a dragon. Yes, this this is fine. Yeah, this is fine. This is this is fine. I don't know what the CR of an adult. I assume, out of character, I assume uh -huh. this is about the size of an adult red dragon, correct? No. These are oh. young red dragons. Oh, thank God. <laughs> They're still red dragons in but, one week. Yes, but again, there may be so much more manageable than an adult. There may be two young red dragons, though. True, but they might be fighting one at a time, which is... Maybe. Again, at the very least, for night level. Character. Actually, I'll tell you what. So if you're in the room right now, so basically just anyone who's left here, can go ahead and roll a, a perception check on Kerr. So, a few things you see about Kerr. You see a giant metal belt around his center that has, like, this giant fire giant face on it. I want it. wonder what that <laughs> is. <laughs> You also see this massive, massive two-handed sword that he kind of, like, has strapped to his back that's currently holding. 
Her is holding all my stuff. And then he <laughs> seems like he's got a few other things on too. You get the feeling he's probably packing some very nice items on him. Unfortunately, he's also probably packing some very nice items. On him. Yeah, I was about to say. Problem is, I get the feeling that he was not the original owner of said nice items. Nope. Nor will he be the last owner of said items. <laughs> Gogum, please. Gogum is going to become a dragon. Uh, our chances of winning this encounter really depends on whether or not it's a one on or if it's a one on us uh, multiple times, and what ages these dragons are. Or it always depends on if you can convince them not to, you know, incinerate you into oblivion. Yeah, that that'll be the hope. That'll be what Ari is working. What we'll be working mm -hmm. on, considering the you know, diplomatic solution in the background. It's like, what do you got? Nothing yet. All right, more fireballs. The real battle is getting Grokum to stop at this point. Don't you dare start raging, Grokum. <laughs> Put it away. You want to know what, though? In a perfect circumstance, as long as he had the tools and the means, and he does have the ability to fly a bit, he could probably take a young dragon on his own. Mm-hmm. That's he's, why I'm quite relieved to learn that this is a young dragon. <laughs> he's resistant to everything but psychic. Fayage Finger gives me an extra AC, so it puts me up to 23. You could literally hulk out for about a minute. And if I recall correctly, the aging is wormling, juvenile, then young. Yeah. Youngs are about a CR9. Okay. In 5e, I assume? Mm-hmm. Okay. Kern, on the other hand, I get the feeling gather it's probably not a young afraid. dragon. Yeah, he's probably... Based on the information Theris has, he's probably the second oldest dragon there is. So he's probably not an ancient dragon, like the big massive one, but he's probably at least an adult, if not older. Yeah, I was about to say, if the other two are young, then he has to be an adult or older if he's the eldest of the offspring. Which is not a good thing. No, no, it most assuredly is not. That's a lot hotter fire. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, I think, so let's see. So let's count our odds up here, too. Considering nobody... Well, Max doesn't have any spell slots. I don't even know what Max can really do. Does Max even have a bow? He probably hey, has a lot of bow. <laughs> he's got two javelins left. Uh, has he only a has fire one. He lost one. That's it. I mean, if you play... If you can play the terrain card in your favor and you could get them like to follow you somewhere, you could potentially make it a little bit easier on yourself. But, uh... Let's see. There are hmm. like an area where they can't fly. Potentially, make them go human. But I mean, if you keep Wolfguard alive, I don't know how many arrows he has. But in theory, if you kept him safe, he could do a lot of damage if he hits. Potentially. Trick is keeping him alive, and again. For this encounter, Ari is borrowing, you know, the background negotiations uh -huh. is completely useless. Uh, Max, basically, he's good at he can take some hits or he can help someone not get hit. Um, yeah, I don't know. Gronkum's got enough firepower for probably one at least. Two might be pushing it. Ali's got some firepower, but no hit points. My heels are um, pretty pretty restricted. I've only got a fourth level, a second level, and three first. And the rod. Which only has three charges left. Yep. Which means no one can be resurrected if anyone dies yeah, right Yeah, no now. one died because I can't bring you back. I can only heal you three times. Well, I mean, they can always also be resurrected later. You it's have, a like... A hundred years or something. Technically, if I spend that third charge, then I gotta roll a twenty and hope I don't roll a one. 
So you're saying I can die two times and you can bring me back to full health? Yeah, I got this. You can't die, you can go unconscious. And I can bring you back to 70 hit points. I'm doing pretty good still, not gonna lie. Like, I could probably do some damage. Theoretically, it's possible if we end up having to kill all three of them. As long as we don't have to fight all three of them at once. Yeah, because yeah. everything you'd be using at this point, you'd have range attacks from Wolfgar. You'd probably have to have range attacks from Deft. You don't want to get close <laughs> Well, because it depends, too. If you're fighting them in human form... It just depends who you're fighting. Current human form versus that may not be much different. Uh, let's see. Young dragons. Oh, that's not bad at all. Their bites are only a plus 10, and they only hit for 2d10 plus 6. Plus 3, uh, or 1d6 fire damage. Yeah, it's actually not that bad. Especially considering it's a dragon. Mm -hmm. And their fire breath is only 16d6. That, on the other hand, oh, oh, that, no. that is... The fire breath is the dangerous part. Wait, I want to see if I can survive the, uh, the fireball attack. Uh, the, you can literally gain penny. immunity to fire, so yes. Hold on, hold on. Uh, I, I wanna a, make sure an adult red dragon... That's a lot of damage. Their fire breath you know what, never mind. I don't think I will uh, keep going with that. Well, also remember, you then half that, then half it again. So knock that down to about 26, then knock it down to 13. I just rolled 65 fire damage for a fire breath. Yeah, but even, again, versus death, even with that nat 1 on it, say that's still, uh -huh. what, 15, 16, maybe 17 points of fire damage tops? Oh, that's a Not big to roll, too. I just rolled the sword damage. Now that one doesn't get quartered. <laughs> that's a 30 and a 34. That cuts me right in half. And at least three attacks around. <sighs> this guy... Point with those slows. Let's all be honest. Kerr and Gronkum is going to be the main event here. Hey, I just got a really cool, uh, interesting thought. What if we don't fight them? You could do that. Don't forget don't about the uh, little kobold inventor, dude. Discretion is the better part of valor. This will be interesting. Gronkum versus Dragon. <laughs> Yeah, no, Ari's super tapped, though. Yeah, as I said, she has literally nothing left. She's down to just cantrips. And she's got no abilities, no racial, nothing. Nope. No spells. It's just cantrips. That's why she said <laughs> we need to rest. Uh, the only downside, too, is where to rest. Yeah, that's the tricky part. Especially I don't since think William... gotten the chance. No, I, I know. Well, the good news or the bad news, whichever way you view it, at least you found an iron door. Um, because right about now is probably when that big wall of force uh, is fading. And that's where we see William walking up behind Kern. You didn't pay your fees here. <laughs> it's like, what are you doing here? It's like, oh, I own this mountain. Holds up a contract. See, your dad signed it and everything. <laughs> William's Magnificent Mountain. And he never knew it all along. That was his the goal. The ancient dragon is still befuddled by how he was outsmarted by such a small halfling. It's like, I was just talking to him and all of a sudden he was telling me about timeshares and next thing I know... <laughs> <laughs> next thing I know... <laughs> I've got a resort somewhere in a place called Tahiti, and he owns this mountain. Like, darn this thing. Darn this thing. 
Uh, but yes. So we'll pause here for the night. We'll let Gronkum fight the dragon next week and see how it goes. Be kind, Gronkum. She's a young dragon. He dies first. I think she did. The only thing she's got on you, Gronkum, she flies a little bit better than you do. Do you know what we really need to get Gronkum? What's that? A ring of evasion. 